let's get to the designing small booths with big yeah. impact and kind of utilizing yeah. your smaller space better. Mm -hmm. I love that you're talking about this. I think it's important because I think not everybody has a big exhibit space. I think there are, you mentioned earlier about being smaller shows, smaller mm -hmm. exhibit halls. Big shows don't always mean big results, right? I mean, I know right. a lot of companies going yeah. to small niche shows and they yeah. crush it, right? Because it's all about who is there and why are they yeah. there? So talk to me a little bit about yeah. the class that you're teaching, right? Well, you have two of yeah. them that are in in line yeah. on the, so, yeah, the so one, give me a little bit on those. The one is a small but mighty is a panel discussion and we've got some uh, guest panelists that are going to be talking about from their end of things what they're doing to stand out and to reinforce their messaging in their small booth. And then the session that I'm doing is an advanced learning session. And we're actually going to look at your calendar. Let's just dial it in to you specifically. Look at your calendar. What do things on your calendar have in common? A lot of times we try to, as a small booth exhibitor, it turns into send a roll-up banner, send a roll-up banner, send a tablecloth. Well, if you have the similar messaging for five events, that means you could pool all of that graphic money together for those five events and create one great, maybe a backlit graphic that could mm -hmm. be reused five times instead of five roll-up banners, you know? So a lot of small booth making a big impact is thinking about what is reproducible. You know, if I'm going to give away popcorn poppers, you know, little microwave popcorn poppers at my shows at one show, then I can look at what other shows I have in the food industry and I could put all of that budget together and buy a better premium to give out at each of those food shows. So that's one of the things. And it's just basically looking at your audience and looking at your messaging again and how you can make that stand out. And the one thing is I remind people that when you look at it on your calendar, it looks like you're just repeating, repeating, repeating. But when you look at it in scope of the attendees, they're only seeing that once. You know, the people that go to the popcorn mm -hmm. show in January are not the people going to the cheese show in July, you know, but I can use the same booth setup and the same collateral at both shows and get double duty and make it make a bigger impact because I've then taken two budgets and created a bigger message. Where did kind of the genesis of this presentation come from? Where, where essentially like what made you think about smaller booths and, you know, kind of creating them small, but mighty and reproducing yeah. content. Kind of How'd that work for you? Out of necessity, because I have mostly small shows and mostly small booths, but I really like the big impact idea. You know, I'm sitting in the sessions at Exhibitor Live and people have half a million dollars, quarter million dollars, and they're making these big splashy things. But I had heard once that even a small event can have a wow. So oh, yeah. what's your wow for your booth? And then I started thinking about it. I had been letting the roll-up tablecloth mantra rule my life. And then I grabbed it and said, wait a minute, I don't like roll-ups and tablecloths, especially for all of my shows. If I'm going to have to do 20 shows, that's boring. You know, I want a wow. It's hard to wow with a roll-up and a tablecloth. So what's my wow going to be? Yeah. And I really looked at editing what I was doing to conserve budget and resources to start making that wow. And I have an English degree. And so back in the day when I was getting my degree, we had to take a poetry class. And one of the things you learn in poetry is every word that is used in a poem is essential. And when you're looking at a poem, if you're writing a poem, you want every word to be essential. And I started looking at my booth and editing out the unessential. Did I need to have a brochure binder that had every brochure in it just in case one person stopped by. It was adding to the space on the table. It was adding to my shipping, you know, like 
why am I doing this? And I started looking at those elements that I had been handed as the last person did it like this. So do it like this type of thing. And I started deciding what really needed to be there.